EastEnders Hardman Danny Dyer left Prince Charles somewhat lost for words today as he told him, I'm related to you. The actor met the heir to the throne in a lineup at At the Prince's Trust Awards at the London Palladium. The future king was introduced to the television star, although he is clearly not a fan of soaps as Dyer had to explain, I'm in EastEnders, adding, I just want to let you know I'm related to you. He went on to tell a laughing Charles, who called him Daniel, how he had discovered he is a direct descendant of King Edward III. I think I freaked him out a little bit, he said afterwards. He had a good laugh though. Later, he joked about his cousin Charlie while chatting to Kate Garraway on stage. Danny famously discovered his royal ancestry on the BBC show Who Do You Think You Are? in 2016 and went on to present the two-part program Danny Dyer's Right Royal Family at the start of the year. The actor learned that not only is his great-grandfather 22 times removed King Edward III, but he is related to William the Conqueror and Henry VIII's advisor Thomas Cromwell too. The meeting between the unlikely relatives came as Charles attended the annual Prince's Trust Awards at the London Palladium, to celebrate the success of young people helped by his Prince's Trust. Charles seemed intrigued by his chat with Strictly dancer and choreographer A.J. Pritchard, but joked that he was too old for lifts on the dance floor. A.J. said, I told him what I'd do and he said it was not for him. He was saying that you have to be a lot fitter and stronger for the lifts than most people think. He said I am too old for that now. It was surreal, a moment I will never forget. Charles, whose wife Camilla is a huge fan of the TV dance competition is known to have some impressive moves, with the actress Emma Thompson once saying that dancing with him was better than sex. Before the show the Prince met a stellar lineup of celebrity ambassadors of the Prince's Trust including Hollywood stars Luke Evans and Chu Wittilegia Four, and musician Tinny Temple. Other guests included Tom Walker, Anne-Marie, and Brian May, comic Michael McIntyre, DJs Clara Ampho and Maya Gemma, boxer Nicola Adams. Actress Catherine Kelly, Strictly star A.J. Pritchard and Kate Garraway. Philip Schofield and Fern Cotton, in a stunning Alice Temperley dress, hosted the show while longtime hosts Ant and December gave a video message in support of the winners. Charles chatted to Queen guitarist May, who once famously played on the roof at Buckingham Palace, and discussed his trademark locks. It's seen better days, May said ruefully, fingering his now gray curls but it's a natural curl and they are all mine." Singer Anne-Marie was attending the awards for the first time and enthused about the work of the charity. The fact that it is helping young people to make something of themselves is what matters to me, she said after the lineup. The work it does is amazing. Dylan England, 26, from Surrey was the winner of the Homizance Young Achiever of the Year award and was presented his award by actor Chu Wittilegia for and he left the audience stunned with his story. Years of systemic abuse left Dylan battling with depression and feeling at rock bottom. When he saw the same cycle of abuse starting over with other children, he knew he had to do something, so he reported it to the police and gave evidence in court. The experience took its toll on Dylan and he attempted to take his own life a number of times. But he joined the Trust's team program at Carshalton College in 2017 with the hope of turning his life around when many others had given up on him. Dylan has since used his role as a young ambassador to inspire and empower others. He is also now working as an assistant team leader on the team program to help other young people build the confidence and skills they need to turn their lives around. Chu Wittilegia Four, who presented the award, said, Dylan is such an amazing young man, and a credit to the work of the Prince's Trust. His relentless commitment to helping others after the struggles he has overcome in his own life is truly inspiring. On winning his award, Dylan said, winning the National Young Achiever Award is such an honor. The difference between where I was even 18 months ago, and where I am now is amazing. I've had so much support from those around me the Prince's Trust and particularly my team mentors, so would like to say a huge thank you to everyone who has helped me along the way. Today's event comes just hours after Charles welcomed celebrities including George and Damal Clooney to Buckingham Palace last night. The future king was hosting a dinner for donors, 
supporters and ambassadors of the trust which he set up more than forty years ago. It is likely a mall, who attended the Duchess of Sussex's lavish baby shower in New York last month, will have dropped in on her close friend at Kensington Palace during her stay in London. Sponsored by T.K. Max and Homozance, the Prince's Trust Awards recognize young people who have succeeded against the odds, improved their chances in life and had a positive impact on their local community. The charity was set up to help young people to develop the confidence and skills they need to realize their ambitions, so that they can live, learn and earn. Founded by the Prince of Wales in 1976, the charity supports 11 to 30-year-olds who are unemployed, struggling at school and at risk of exclusion. Many of the young people helped by the Trust are in or leaving care, facing issues such as homelessness, mental health problems, or have been in trouble with the law. The programs offered by the charity give vulnerable young people the practical and financial support needed to stabilize their lives, helping develop self-esteem and skills for work. Three and four young people supported by the Prince's Trust move into work, education or training. The Trust has helped over 950,000 young people to date and supports over 100 more each day.